Hi everyone, welcome to How to Electronics. In this project, we will make a temperature-based fan speed control and monitoring system using ESP8266 Wi-Fi module and observe the data on IoT app Blink. The fan speed increases based on the increase in temperature. The 16 cross 2 LCD display will display the instantaneous temperature and fan speed as well. The Blink app will show the current temperature and fan speed in percentage. Using the Blink, we can also set the threshold value at what temperature the fan should turn on. To sense the room temperature, we will use a DS18B20 waterproof temperature sensor. For the fan part, a 12 volt fan is perfect for this application as it is easy to control the speed with the PWM signal. Do you want professional PCBs like this one that looks so good then use the services of next PCB. You can select the board size, any solder mask color that you want including something like red and green. You can select the thickness and the PCB could be from 2 up to 32 layers for some more complex design. The finish quality is so good and if you want better connectivity, you could also select some gold finish for the pads. The ordering process is so easy. Just go to nextpcb.com then quit now. Insert your design setting, upload your cover files and order now. And receive the PCB in a couple of days. The components used in this project are Node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module. Then a 16x2 LCD display with I2C adapter. For the temperature sensor part, DS18B20 is perfect as it is waterproof. For driving a fan, we are using a IRF540. This is a 12V DC fan whose speed will be controlled. A 5V volt voltage regulator ICLM7805. A 10 microfarad capacitor and 100 microfarad capacitor. Similarly, 4.7K register and 10K register. For power, 12 volt DC adapter can be used. It can be directly used with this DC female jack. All the components will be assembled on this Zero PCB board. This is the schematic for the project designed using EasyEDA software. The entire circuit can be powered by a 12V DC power supply. Actually, the DC fan only requires 12V for operations. The rest of the components takes 5V as input from the 7805 voltage regulator IC. The DS18B20 waterproof temperature sensor is connected to the D6 pin of Node MCU ESP8266. For displaying temperature and fan speed, we are using a 16x2 I2C LCD display which is connected to the I2C pin. The digital pin of Node MCU is not capable of controlling the 12V fan alone. Therefore, we are using an IRF 5V to control a fan. The schematic is converted into a PCB layout. All the components in the PCB layout are arranged and routed to make a good looking PCB. As seen here in the 3D view, all components are arranged perfectly to make dedicated hardware. The cover file link for this project has been added in the description. You can download it and order your PCB from next PCB. Alright, for testing and demo, I have assembled all the components together on Zero PCB board. This is the LCD display. This is the Node MCU ESP8266 microcontroller. The IRF540 and along with two capacitors for 7805 voltage regulator IC. This register is for the DS18B20 temperature sensor and other one is for MOSFET. The connection on the back side looks too messy. That is why it is better to use the PCB for this project. From this DC jack, we can supply 12V DC power. Finally, the DS18B20 temperature sensor is the main component of this hardware. Now, 
let's set up the IoT part of this project. We will set up the Blink dashboard. First, sign up using the Blink email ID and password. Then, create a new template, assign the name, hardware and connection type. From the web dashboard, create 4 widgets as gauze, level, LED and slider. For the gauze setting, choose the virtual pin V4. This will be used for displaying the fan speed in percentage. For temperature display in level, select virtual pin V3 and data type is integer. For slider, assign the virtual pin as V7. The slider is used to set up the threshold value at which the fan would turn on. For LED setting, rename the variable as fan as this will indicate the fan on off status. The virtual pin assigned for the fan is V0. Apart from the web dashboard, you can also set up your mobile app dashboard. For that, download the Blink from Play Store or App Store. Using the mobile dashboard, you can have the same observation as the web dashboard. Let's move to the coding part now. At first, we include the ESP8266 Wi-Fi library and also the Blink library. The one wire and Dallas temperature library are for the DS18B20 temperature sensor. This library is for I2C LCD display whose address is 0 cross 27. The sensor and fan pin is defined as 12 and 16. By default, the threshold value is set to 30. Then, we create instances for the temperature sensor. For blink widget, we defined fan virtual pin. In these lines, we need to replace the blink authentication token the Wi-Fi access ID and also the password. Under the setup function, we initialized serial begin, LCD begin and sensor begin function. Since we are using the analog write function to set up the frequency of the PWM signal. Using this line, the device will connect to Blink server. Using the Blink virtual pin 7, we can set the temperature threshold value. In this function, the fan speed is determined in percentage based on the fan pin PWM value. In the loop section, we are reading the temperature sensor value using the library and displaying its value on LCD display. The virtual pin V3 is set for temperature. If the temperature is above the threshold value, the fan speed will gradually increase. This is based on the map function using the temperature value. In case the temperature is below the threshold, the fan won't turn on. From the tool menu, select Node MCU Board and Comport. Then hit the upload button to upload the code. Once the code is uploaded, the device is ready for testing now. The ESP8266 will try connecting to the Wi-Fi network. After it gets connected to the Wi-Fi network, it connects to the Blink platform using the Blink authentication token. At the same time, the 16 cross 2 LCD display will show the temperature in degree Celsius and fan speed in percentage. At the same time, the Blink app will show the temperature in degree Celsius and fan speed in the cause widget. It will also indicate the fan on off status and threshold value in the slider. By default, the threshold is set to 30 degrees Celsius. It means if the temperature exceeds the threshold value, the fan will start automatically. The speed of the fan will gradually increase from 0 to 100% between the range of threshold value and upper limit. In this case, the upper limit is set to 55 degrees Celsius. In case the current temperature is less than the threshold, the fan will not start. The threshold value can be set using the blink slider. When the sensor detects the high temperature, the fan turns on and its speed depends upon the temperature. The greater the temperature, the greater the fan speed. 
at a temperature of 55 degrees Celsius, the fan speed becomes 100%. You can change the value of the upper limit of temperature in the code part. The same thing can be monitored online on Blink Web dashboard as well. You can observe the fan speed and temperature from any part of the world. Alright, that is all from the video part today. The complete project details including device information, purchase link, source code and written guide can be followed in the How to Electronics website article. In case you have any other questions, you can comment in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.